Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and today we are going to start the process of creating the mini album that we did the cutting guide for a couple of days ago. I have everything laid out. I've got my photos chosen somewhat. I've, I've printed them. They're in my bucket. I've got my little labels that I always put on the back of my layouts just in case something gets separated. And I figured as we go through, I can pick and choose the photos out of the big batch that I printed. Now, not every photo that I have is going to go in this album. There is also going to be enough photos left over to put in my family 2018 album. But this will be just like a little coffee table or take to a neighbor, you know, take to, not a neighbor's house. I'm a hermit. I don't know my neighbors. I worked night shift for so long. They don't know me. I don't know them. It's sad, I know, but if you want to take a coffee table book to like my mother-in-law's house or my sister-in-law's house or something, this would be a good album to take. So we're going to start off with, I'm not doing the cover page because the cover page is meant to go on the front cover, and A, I'm not using the Everyday Life album with Close to My Heart, which is what this was created for, but B, I want the front cover to not, I don't want to have to worry about it getting messed up. So we're going to start with the title page. And if you remember, I didn't even cut the cover page stuff. So we're going to take out the page one. And I'm going to set my binder aside. Oh, I need to grab out the, the world is yours. This is just washi tape so that I could get into it easily and seal it back up. The world is yours. So we've got this. I'm going to set aside so I don't lose it. And all the pieces and parts. And this orientation is supposed to be this way. I'm going to go ahead and take this and put it up on my document holder. So it's out of my way. Now I have a photo. This particular cover photo doesn't have a photo, but I do have a photo that I want to use. So I'm going to try and incorporate it. And it would be nice if I could just get a circle. So let me just set this up. Grab my die cut binder. And I know I have some circles in here. So let's... Find them real fast. Ooh, would ovals work? Do I only have ovals? Remember. Stitch circles. No. There we go. Basic circles. That's what I want. And I think I want the big one. Because then I can just get a little cross section of our luggage. So let me go cut this out and I'll be right back. And then that, and then, okay, so that'll work. So let's get this all tacked down. If you look on your sticker sheet, there is a sticker that says, today is a new adventure. That is the one we are going to use. And then I'm going to pop it on this one. And then to just add some more texture, which I've got this flipped over the wrong way. No, I don't. Okay, yep, that's the way. That's the right way. And then to add some more texture, I just realized I've got the wrong piece of paper in here. That's okay, I like it. 
will be okay. I think I'm going to stitch around it and make it more my own. So let me get out my stitching stuff. So these are the colors that are featured in the paper. So you've got peach, sage, mink, mint, and toffee, although toffee's not very often, but I went and pulled it out. So now I need to decide which color I would like to use. And I think, I think I want to go with the mink. So we'll set these aside. This is just a quarter piece of cork since I'm going to be working on smaller areas. And then this is my little template that I made from Old Faithful. So today's going to be the day that we tried it out. Oh, that's too far to the top, so let's just bring it down. That'll work right there. Okay, so let's try this out and see how it works. It's not quite as sturdy as Old Faithful, but that's okay. As long as I can get a hold of my stencil material, it will be okay. I don't have any of my guidelines, so I'm trying to make sure it's straight. That's the one thing I didn't think about. Is my guidelines. So not quite as precise as Old Faithful, but I think I'm gonna like the look. Okay, now that I've got my needle ready, we are ready to begin. So we're just going to start this off like I do any stitching project. This is just on a smaller scale.
Okay, so let's start assembly. I'm just eyeballing if it's center. I don't know if it's center. You see me stop and play with something on the side. I'm getting kitten updates. We found a litter of kittens on Easter out at my mother-in-law's house. She has been bottle feeding them. And every one of us in the family is getting a kitten. So she sends us kitten updates every day. I'm actually going out there tomorrow because she has been on kitten duty for three weeks and she needs a day off. So I'm going to go out there tomorrow and kitten sit because they can't quite make it through a four hour period without eating. And my mother-in-law would like to have lunch with one of her friends and have a girl day, so I'm going to go out there tomorrow. And play with kittens. On the sticker sheet, there is a a zoom zoom I was trying to figure out if I want to mat it. I don't think I have room to mat it. It would be more finished looking, but I don't think I have room. So we'll just leave it be. And this is just a set of, oh, these are supposed to be Bitty Sparkles. Okay, it's a set of regular sparkles, but I thought I ordered Bitty Sparkles. That's okay, it'll work. And there is page one. Again, this would probably look a little bit more finished, but I was afraid if I made it any smaller, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's luggage. And if I tried to put a mat on it, it would roll over the edges. And I don't want to do that either. So we'll leave it be. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to keep following the mini album series. I believe it's going to be going page one, page two, page three, and I'll get them. I'll make a playlist for you. How's that? Until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.